Apple may be the king of the tech world now, but it was a very different tale nearly two decades ago. In the mid-1990s, the company was on the verge of going bust. Time was running out. But all that changed with the return of Steve Jobs. The Apple co-founder came back in 1997 and immediately put the company back on track by partnering with Microsoft. The one-time enemy was now an ally. But it wasn't until 1998 that Apple started showing signs of life. They unveiled their newly designed and much sexier iMac. It was a commercial success. A year later, the iBook laptop was released. Profits nearly doubled. Jobs continued experimenting with new products, some a success and some a dud. But in 2001, the company helped revolutionize the music business. They launched the iPod and iTunes Store. With the growing popularity of its devices away from computers, Apple invested in its software, iPod and music business. By 2007, the company controlled 70% of all legally downloaded music. In that same year, Steve Jobs changed the company name from Apple Computers to Apple. And then, the iPhone is unveiled. It becomes one of the company's most successful products and ushers in a long line of future versions. Over the next few years, Apple continues rolling out hugely popular products and services, from the App Store to the iPad. Today, Apple has a market cap in excess of $700 billion. Phil Hahn, CNBC, London.